Hey everybody, Maniac for Bricks here with a little behind the scenes. For the past three, almost four days now, I've been going through a whole bunch of storage sheds in my backyard, pulling out a whole bunch of stuff, trying to reorganize them. And not just because I had a yard sale over the past weekend, I pulled out a bunch of stuff in order for that, but also I wanted to get some other stuff out there just to structure it better. For example, the Nerf shed, this half of it looks way better than when it started. It already had a good process to it already, but I've fit so much over there that I wasn't able to do before and now it's, it's fantastic but I just want to be here for a little rant a little tangent sort of thing about Lego set boxes I've kind of done box tangents every once in a while I've done them on live stream I still have a scripted video that's about them but one thing that I realized over time is okay yeah box collecting might be kind of fun there's some nice artwork on them they could be used for other things later I've personally used them for a whole bunch of like organizational purposes so like if I have a big superheroes box, I could put all superhero sets in them, for example. However, there's a whole lot of Lego sets I have built. They don't go back into storage. They sit in display or they move around in some other way and they don't go back to their boxes. And do I really need to keep all the boxes? No, I could always recycle all of these boxes, but my goodness, punch hole boxes. I'll get to those in just a second. Punch hole boxes, I am actually not a fan of nowadays, especially because of this breakdown purpose. I have, I kid you not, a good chunk of boxes in here already. Tons and tons from different years, different themes. Um, you know, fitting in whatever size is possible. This is only taking up maybe half of this Tupperware, which is fantastic, so I can fit a lot more in there and not have to take a whole lot of space. Like, originally, I had a whole bunch of these that they only had, like, chopped one side just to open the box, and the rest of it is still squarish, rectangular, and, and put away somewhere. But those would take up a lot of space. They would... I kid you not, take up multiple Tupperwares to, uh, to get the job done, just to fit them away in storage. I'm so happy with breaking them down now, but there's a whole bunch of them, especially with the punch hole boxes, I can't really do it that well and be able to reuse them. Like if I have to take those other boxes out, I could tape them up or whatever, that's really easy. Punch hole boxes don't work the same way, not only because you have the actual holes in the sides of the box, but also this side. The sealant is different. It's a glue. It's not really, you know, taped like any other box. Now, some of these might just wear out from age as it is, or even in Walmart, they just kind of throw boxes around even with stuff in them. But it is something that I'm starting to learn that's like, okay, that's not as fun to, to work with. That's why I have a whole, a whole bunch of them sitting here. Old ones, new ones. That's like the oldest one I've seen so far out of this group. Uh, there's a Duplo Explore one over there that's kind of like that. But yeah, some Lego boxes I can't break down as easily, even though I could break down the sets very easily. I have a whole bunch of them that I've been going back through, backing them up. I don't need them inside. I don't need them right now for display, whatever. They're going in there. I do have a whole bunch of them that I've removed from that storage for Life on Mars and Hidden Side. I'm bringing them to Philly Brick Fest. I will be having a display with them. We'll talk more about that later. I have a whole bunch of these boxes that still haven't been opened because they still have backlog. There's a whole bunch around. And uh, I'm very excited for when the Lego room gets put back together. I'm doing some space building. I got Benny's spaceship inside already, but I still have to rebuild some parts on it. Space Cruiser right here and Galaxy Explorer. So that's going to be a fantastic build. Um, but yeah, I realize there's a whole lot of these that if I consolidate them better, I can make better out of the space. I've also considered once or twice of moving the Lego shelf and the Nerf shelf, swapping between them because there's so much overflow of Lego that it goes into other shell, uh, other sheds and it's not necessary. I still have to play out how the Nerf shelf is going to work, if I'm going to do that, but for right now, I'm just kind of getting all this back in there as soon as possible before Philly, and then it won't be, you know, strewn about the yard. But I've also been making good progress when I have been doing this over the past, you know, almost four days now. Um, so yeah, it's a little box tangent, but... A little progress update kind of thing. I know it looks like a credible mess, but I actually do have a system as to where everything is going. Um, some of them, I, like I said, have been consolidating into better containers. So I'm really looking forward to that. I, I know that there's ha there hasn't been any real, real content on the channel <laughs> for some time. But this is long overdue. <laughs> I've had to do a lot of extra work in here just to make it better, to make it more enjoyable, to do that extra, to, to do the real content that I want to do. Uh, and that includes streams, that includes Studside Heights, all the, all the different things I want to do. 
Uh, There's a blue jay out there. Nice. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me rant. Let me know what you think about Lego boxes, if it even uh, matters or anything to you. Um, I got a whole lot more to go through. Hess trucks are pretty much going to stay in those bags. I don't think they're going to get in any box or anything, but I know where they're going. And uh, I'll talk to you all later.